What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Flying Brown's Garage. So, in this video, focusing on a Lincoln. So this thing's been sitting for a while. Um, I actually got the Lumina up and running. Um, uh, there is a video back in the um, past videos that shows me getting it running, doing a top end job, getting it on the road again. She's been driving it ever since and it has been great except for um, the transmission leak and there's a video on that too where I did the uh, pan gasket and all that stuff just to find out that it was the dipstick tube that had a hole in it where it had broke off from the mount and I welded that back together and it was fine so um, but enough of that this car has been sitting here since she has been driving the Lumina and since it's been cold the battery is from July of 2020 so it's four years old now it is completely dead and it has been for a while um, also I do believe there might be a slight leak around the thermostat there um, you can kind of see it a little bit I'm not sure if I'm just wigging or is that a leak but I need to inspect that and we also need to finish popping out this dent in the fender I don't know if I'm gonna need to remove it or not but I need to finish getting this dent out get this piece of trim back up on the car I have it it just fell off and finish getting this foamish uh, adhesive shit off of it because it used to have a like chrome trim type of stuff on the bottom but it wasn't chrome it was a shoddy um, like I don't know vinyl cover I guess you'd say but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hook this battery up um, after I'm done pressure washing the van of course I'm in the middle of finishing this video um, and if you haven't seen this video yet, I uh, highly recommend it, uh, so go check it out. It should be in the past videos. Um, I'm not sure of the name of it yet because I haven't filmed it, but it'll be there. Um, but after we get done pressure washing the van, we're going to unplug the extension cord, bring it up here, charge this battery overnight, and then hopefully tomorrow... We will be done with the van. I can move it out of the shop here. And then we can move in the town car. Hopefully get a new battery for it. Finish pulling that trim off and getting this thing cleaned up. Ready for the road again. And hopefully at the end of the video, we'll be taking this thing for a ride. So, I'd say let's get into it. All right. So, I'm actually still in the middle of the van project. It's the next day, and I'm needing to go to the parts store. So, uh, we're going to see if this charged enough. I hope it did. To where I can take this thing. And it didn't. No. That ain't enough. I'm gonna have to jump it off. All right, we grabbed a lawnmower battery that's nice and charged up. Hooked a pair of jumper cables up to it. Let's see if I can get this thing to turn over now. Come on. wants to 
Come on, baby. There we go. Well, I know how I'm gonna start it up if it dies. I'm gonna take that battery with me. All right, she's running 209 miles in the tank. And hopefully, this thing won't give me any problems. But if it does, we got our chopper cables and our battery back here just in case and uh, we're gonna go up here to the parts store get some parts get uh something to eat and get on back here to the shop well coming down the driveway something didn't feel right it just it felt like it wasn't riding right it's like ah I must have a flat tire yep flat tire all right, let's get some air in this bad boy. I didn't notice the tire was flat sitting there. All right, checked all tire pressures. They're all at 45 PSI now. So, let this be a tempt number three that I'm trying to leave the house so let's we'll see if we can actually get out of here and get what we need now all right I was successfully able to leave my house so let's hope this little short venture goes well because I'm riding on a wing and a prayer dumbass geese always in the road well let's get to the parts store well, we made it to advance, and it's, uh, I killed it. I think I'm going to be good for this trip. Battery seems to be holding okay, so that's good. Let's go inside and get our parts. All right. Got our tasks done. Car's been running okay for something that has a bad battery in it. And I'm headed back to the house, so... Let's get back to the shop and get to work. Something told me to park it back where it was. Um, I just went to go move it and battery's dead. The uh, battery that I had taken with me for the uh, lawnmower is... Ain't got enough juice to kick this engine over, so uh, I'm sure I'm glad I didn't need it because it wouldn't have worked. I'm actually going to... Heck, maybe I'll just hook that some bitch up to the van real quick, charge it, and then bring it over here and jump the car off. If not, I think I'm gonna actually go get the uh, old tow rig and just pull this thing back some, so I can actually get the van backed up and jump it off. All right, we are back on the town car. Finally got the van done and at a shop which is running really good so can't complain now we're focused on this girl i'm gonna go ahead and start with cosmetics i've got some trim to remove this little plastic trim going around the bottom side of the bumper i think i'm gonna able to remove it. Well, yeah. I could. And I probably will. It looks like shit. Um, got the, uh, this stuff to remove on the sides clean it up inside now get that dent popped out of the front fender here 
kind of finish getting out. And then maybe try to spray a little clear over, ship this off, and maybe try to clear it. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. It'd be a temporary. But I'm thinking about it. I got to look at it first. So. Alright, so opted out on pulling off the trim because it's just a pain in the ass. And why don't you clean it up, make it look a little better? So, moved on to the lights because I figured I'd go ahead and try to clean these things up from, you know, the kit that I bought. Um, the lens sealing wipe was actually still kind of good, so I was able to do this light. And you can visibly tell the difference. In the two. Unfortunately, it's not perfect. Still got some markings on it, but I mean, from a distance, it's pretty clean. And uh, side lights have a little bit of cracking in them from the sun, but I cleaned those up too. They look a lot better. So, we're going to call that side good. We'll move over here. This marker light has seen better days, but we're going to keep that light and just clean it up some, clean this one up, and then we'll move on to probably putting the rear tire on, because i got to swap out a tire. Got one back here that's uh, quite bald, and that's the drive tire. Still got some tread on the top, but the sides are chewed from being on the front with a bad alignment. So we'll probably be doing alignment on this car as well. But I have this tire here, which is a good tire. And I'm just gonna throw it on this wheel and we'll run this setup. So Alright. Other headlight is done big difference that's that looks pretty good so let's move on to getting our tire put on all right got our tire off ready to take it down to the other shop and get it mounted up but for just a second this car it's so clean under the hair, like, such good shape, a little surface rust here and there, but it ain't much, but look at that under the edge. beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We got the tires loaded up on the old workhorse. Let's get it down to the shop and get her switched out. All right, we got our tires in the shop here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this on the tire machine, get the bead broke, get this tire switched on, and get her aired up. All right, after a lot of fighting and cussing and beating on shit, Finally got our tire mounted up on the wheel, and let's go put it on the car. All right, we got us a nice newish tire on the drive side, on the rear. So now the tires are pretty decent. All right, we got our tire done, and now I just wet sanded the trunk and everything to get the had a little bit of white overspray on it. I know it's streaked because I still haven't got it clean yet, but I was going to clear it, but it's going to rain as you see. So I resorted to going ahead and starting to clean out the trunk, get it nice and clean, get everything I need in it and closed up. And then I can move on to maybe popping the dent out of the fender because um, I'd definitely like to get that out. For sure, get some of these leaves and 
junk out of the back of the chunk gutter here. That is how your vehicle rots out. Clean stuff out like that. Got to make sure it's nice and clean flow for the water to run through. And I usually like to take a rag every now and then and wipe mine out, clean them out. But uh, yeah, let's go get the vacuum, clean this trunk up, get it organized. All right, we got our trunk cleaned out. It looks good. Because I'm going to get it. So let's get everything back in here and arranged and we can get on something else. Alright, that's more like it. Got your donut. Everything's cleaned up. All fluids and a little bit of things that I need. And the old tire that I took off the back. It is a little bald on the edges. But you know what? It would act as a spare if I needed it. So now that that's done... All right, back on the Lincoln. It's been a few days, so we're actually going to uh, clean this thing up a little bit and fix the uh, terminals because they are screwy, and we might ride it down and pressure wash this thing today. So uh, got Marshall out here with me. Look at the boy. Got him hanging out outside with me. We're gonna go ahead and. Knock these terminals off real quick. Clean these up real good so that's making a good connection. And strip these. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. You're kidding me. No bueno. So, let's fix all that up. Get this thing a little, little better connection. And see what it does. Alright. We got our terminals all cleaned up. Everything stripped back and... Put back in the positive and the negative was loose on this the positive terminal was loose on the battery it was all corroded around the insides and the new um, terminals that somebody had put on when uh, my wife was driving a car before we ever got married did not put them on right um, and they're just shit terminals actually the nuts had backed out of the mold here so when you tighten it down it just pops right off um, but we got it all nice and secure now we got our battery charging on a trickle charge we're actually gonna hook up the jump box to it as well or not the jump box but a battery with a charge on it of course so I can open up this trunk and I'll probably vacuum it out while I let it charge a little bit and then we'll uh, take her down and wash her up. Alright, as we see our interior is eh, clean, but we need to get it cleaner, you know. See them floors are pretty nasty and, you know, driver's side's pretty nasty. The seats could probably use a good wiping and the dash as well. in the rear because this car is should be kept clean and nice um, I'm gonna go ahead and break out the vacuum and clean this thing up real quick and then we'll wipe it down and we'll be done with the interior all right gotta lube that here's for the reveal we cleaned our car up a decent bit Nice and vacuum. I got those stains out of the floors and wiped everything down. I'd say she's looking eh, pretty good. Oh, that's nice and clean. Clean as I'm gonna get it for now. Um, I still gotta take it down and wash it up, but there's that pretty Lincoln interior. I love this car. It's such a nice car. Just needs a little love, you know. 
but I'm gonna give her what she needs. Just look at that back area. Mm -mm -mm. That's like a darn limo without being limo. I mean, that's just luxurious. I love a Lincoln. I might be a Chevrolet guy at heart, but I got a little bit of everything. So now that she's all nice and clean on the inside, let's get this thing running, get it down there, clean it up on the outside, get this thing nice and clean, get all these spots where I got a little bit of red paint that ran down from when I wet sanded the trunk area. Get that all cleaned up. And uh, I want to try to clear the back for now just to help it. If I can do it and make it look okay. I know there's going to be some spots that are showed, but it's the best I can do for now. So, but let's get her cleaned up and looking better. Alright, we finally got this old girl to start after a few complications. Had to take off the air box and all that good stuff. Spray some stuff down the throat. But, let's go and, uh, Take this thing down here to the air, uh, pressure washer. Clean it up real good. The old Lincoln. Finally got this thing running. I'm gonna go down there and clean up the outside, but God, I love this interior. There's something about this car. I love it when it runs right, and it's a pain in the ass when it's not. Because working on this thing is not easy. There's not much room under the hood. And it's got so many panels on it because it's fancy. So, it's like extra work. But, yep. You know, let's get this old girl down here and get her cleaned up. Clean interior except for where I stepped. Um, everything is looking really nice. I have to get a darn lock thing because it broke. But for now, I got it a little, little fixed up. There's a little bit of the carpet coming out down there on the rug, but not on the actual carpet of the car, which is a good thing. Um, we had backing down our trunk, and we got our engine bay cleaned up pretty decent it didn't come completely clean and i didn't want to go really hard on it at least not yet um, but everything else is clean i didn't you know wash it i just rinsed it really good so um i'll probably wax it later especially after i spray the the trunk Whichever route I decide to go, I don't know if I'm going to just sand it down into a black or am I going to actually try to clear coat this and try to make it look half ass decent. I'm not sure which one I want to do because I think black would look better. But I don't know. I also got to redo this wheel wheel because I don't know what happened in here but the, it just it came off. Another side didn't do that but we'll come back in here with some black and respray that and make it look good probably spray them all um, just to have a nice looking wheel wheel the rest of the under the car looks great so that's always a good thing um, but we're going to go ahead and get our hood shut get this thing back back up in the shop and address some more issues on this body yeah that looks a lot better Ooh, boy, that trunk gets wet. Damn. Okay. Well, looks like I gotta vacuum out a puddle of water. Great. Glad I saw that. Alright, that's much better. We'll have to put 
a trunk weather seal for this car on the list of things that I need to get. Um, and in the corners right here, I think that's where it's leaking on both sides. So I'll probably take some body silicone and seal that up. And we got our clean interior. Let me. Oh man, our little doohickey quit working. Sick of that lock. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. But got all that clean and nice. I'm probably about to wipe out door jams real quick. Um, all that good stuff. Get this thing looking good. I need I need to redo that top again at some point. It's not the best looking, but bad gumming if it don't look bad from afar. Um, but yeah, wipe out these door jams. And I'll probably get to popping out the rest of that dent and getting some of this crap off the sides. I'd like to get it all off and get this thing looking good. Alright, got them door jams wiped out. At least on this side. We'll finish the other side from the interior and the exterior. Well, the interior's done. Exterior's halfway done, I should say. Um, got a lot of prep work to do on this thing to get this thing looking okay. Um, specialized crap down the doors. And that stupid shit that was on the doors. Uh, like a chrome looking vinyl board shit. I think it's basically most supposed to make it look like this stainless chrome pinstriping, but it just didn't look good. Um, so we removed it all the way down the car, actually, and uh, this side's already done. You can uh, sit well, not that part, but the rest of it is, like you can see... Oh, that's been taken off. So, I'm going to finish up that side, get it all polished out, and then we can figure out the rest of, you know, getting the trunk looking good and all that good stuff. But I'm going to come over here and wipe out these door jams, get them all cleaned up, get the car shut off, I guess, and uh, yeah, go from there. Alright, guys, another day on the link. Um, already been to the parts store today. Um, got us some cheap um, flat black paint for the wheel wells. Because if you know that this one came clean, but the other one just mm, came apart. Also got some uh, adapter door lock kit for the locks that are broke off in the back. So we're going to fix that and then take the wheels off real quick and paint up our wheel wells and get them all looking nice. All right, we got one on. And they're not the same style. But they'll work. At least they're chrome. So the fronts will have, you know, the regular. Um, let me show you those. And then the rears will just be a little different. I don't feel like that's a big deal. much better than it did. And there is our other one. It's just this little pack of Dorman help door lock kit. Old style screw on. That's much better. Because <laughs> that door always gives us problems with locking and unlocking. So now I can just reach back here and pull it up if I need to. Which is perfect. So now we can get onto the wheels and take those off. Paint our wheel wells up real nice. And as you see, that's what happened. And I'm not having that. That looks like shit. All right, about to pull off. Uh, I guess we're gonna start with the rear. Um, we're gonna pull off the rear wheels one by one and paint our wheel wells. 
So I want to take a quick second and pause the video and ask y'all to help me with something. I need y'all to do me a favor. Go down and hit that subscribe button. Smash it. Smash that bell. Uh, go like the videos. Uh, you know. Tell me where you're from. Say hi. Whatever. Ask me questions. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm trying to get to a thousand subs. Um, and I cannot do that without your guys' help. Um, so definitely go subscribe. Check out the Facebook, the uh, Instagram, the Snapchat. And now we have a TikTok. You can just go type in Flying Brown's Garage and you will find me. Um, all the profile pictures are the same. It's easy to find. Um, and yeah, give me some likes, give me some subscribes, and all that good stuff. I'm trying to build this, and I can't build it without everybody's help. So, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, you know, got a lot of good videos coming, constantly coming, um, and I'm constantly sourcing new projects. So, stay tuned, and with that being said, let's get back to the video. Now that we have our wheel well exposed, you can see where and it just looks bad. So let's get this nice and clean looking with some fresh paint and everything. I'm gonna wipe the wipe the frame down a little bit paint this up real nice see how it turns out and I'd say that's a big difference looks much better it's still wet and it's drying but I sprayed all of that made it look really nice so, a few spots I didn't see, but yeah, one down. All right, we got that sucker back on. Look how much of a difference that makes. Big difference. All right, driver rear. All right, here we are with the driver side rear. And as you see, this one came out really bad with the pressure washer. It just really looks bad. That's one of the reasons I decided to paint these. So, let's get this area just cleaned up. Because it just, it looks like trash. And there is the finished product. There's a little bit of runs in it. And I opted out of doing the front two. Because number one, they look okay. And number two... I ran out of paint doing this side because this side required like three or four coats to get it to cover. But it looks good. Let's get our wheel back on. And there it is with the wheel on. Looks good. Much better than it did before. It'll look good on the road. Hopefully someday soon I'll be able to get some money to paint these wheels. But unfortunately not now. All I can do is clean them up make them look the best I can. So... This thing will probably get a good bath at the end of it. But for now, let's move on to the spark plugs. We're going to pull them, clean them, or pull them, check them, clean them, and regap them if they're any good and put them back in there in the engine. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a 4.6 liter V8 Ford engine. Um, the spark plugs are in a different location on these, they're actually up in the top like on the top of the lower intake which is strange but it's just their design so we're gonna have to worm these out of there best thing to do is to kind of clean up vacuum the best you can that way none of the trash falls down in and it don't go down into the cylinder once you pull the spark plug so what I like to do is I kind of like to vacuum up a little bit and then I'll come back afterwards after I pull the plug, or not pull the plug, but pull the wire, and I'll vacuum again. 
kind of suck stuff out of that hole, make sure it's not going down into the engine. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull these one by one, check them, clean them, regap them, and install them. So let's see what this thing's running like and see what those plugs are going to tell us about this engine. So it's the first plug we pulled. Looks pretty clean, actually. Um, that looks healthy, except for it looks very worn. Um, that plug gap is not correct. The plug gap on this car is 45 thousandths. Um, I don't think I have any plugs to put in this car right now. So unfortunately I'm going to have to use these. They still have a little bit of an electrode. Um, so I'm going to call them good. I'm just going to regap these for the car and install them. So hopefully all the plugs look like this. Um, I'd rather them be severely worn than, you know, sooted up or covered in oil or antifreeze or anything of that sort. So let's uh, get this one cleaned, regapped, and reinstalled, and then we will check the next one. Well, I pulled the third one. I'm, I'm on the third one. First and second one look great. They're worn as usual but they look good so that's what matters um third oil in the spark plug hole y'all can't see it but it's in the top side so that indicates that i more than likely have a valve cover leak right there and it's seeping down but i will get those replaced as soon as i can get the extra cash to get some but here's our third um, spark plug they are worn but usable gaps about 80 thousandths so let's knock them down to the right 45 all right and we'll repeat it again correct gap is 45 thousandths for a 4.6 liter Ford V8 so that's our third plug we've pulled let's put it back in and move on to the fourth one all right we put our fourth one and there's a bunch of garbage down in there and I'm not pulling that spark plug yet I got to get a vacuum over here and stick a hose down there and vacuum that out real quick and then I can do what I need to do but I cannot pull that plug until I get that trash out of that hole and out from around it all right, we successfully got our fourth one out cleaned and put back in. It looked about the same as the rest of them on this side, so they're all wearing evenly. Um, we're going to move on to the other side and make sure that they're all looking the same as this side, and if they are, we're probably good. Um, eventually, I'm going to have to get some valve cover gaskets for this car, but um, for now, I'm just going to try to keep the oil out of the spark plug hole so let's move on to this side and start with these four so over here we ended up finding a few broken uh, I guess you would call them uh, this vacuum um, connectors for the plastic lines we went ahead and came in here and replaced them I had some uh, stuff out in the shop out there to replace them with so I just went and got custom hose replaced them real quick so get a little bit of a better vacuum since we're working over here we're going to go ahead and go over here and put our air box and air cleaner back in so we don't get any dirt in that and we already have our number one or actually at six but our number one on this row um, one two three four you got a number one spark plug boot pulled and we're going to be pulling our plug next all right, we got our air box and filter and everything back on and installed. Our vacuum and everything's hooked up. Sensors and all that good stuff. Looks like this side's looking about the same, which is good. So, I'm going to go ahead and just finish this side up. And, you know, get it done off camera. Unless I find something that's uh, unexpected. But, uh, so far, so good. So, let's get this finished up. Right, we are officially done with our 
tune up. I pulled all the plugs, cleaned them, regapped them, put them back in the engine, and got our vacuum hoses placed here, here, here. And we checked a bunch of connections and all that good stuff, taped up a couple of connections that were bad, made sure all of our wires were snapped on properly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip our van around real quick. We are going to jump this thing off since we don't have a battery yet. And we're gonna see uh, how much better performance we have out of this engine now. All right, we got it running. We're running for about five minutes now. Not very responsive. I don't sound very good. Most of some of these cars are funny about having an airplane on. Well, I'm letting it run, but it's falling flat on its face. It's not doing any better. Um, I'll show you. Full throttle. It's not doing any good. I'm going to go and get some uh, carb clean to run around the engine and see if the intake's leaking. And I'm going to go ahead and get some new plugs for this thing. Just replace them. Because I, I think that might be a cause of the problem. Not sure. They're severely worn. But we're going to go ahead and run up there and get some parts. Well, we have made it back from our parts store trip for the, I think this is the second time in this video. No, the third. Because we had to make a parts store trip for the van. So, um, I was going to get some motorcraft plugs because that's what I usually like to run in stock engines. I like to run what they require. So, you know, Chevrolet, um, AC Delco, Ford Motorcraft, and, you know, etc. But they did not have eight motorcraft in stock <clears throat> at the advance in town. So what I did was I just uh, got their other best cheapest plug which was an auto light they did have an AC Delco that rang up for this engine but um, mm -mm, that's it's unorthodox for me to put a stock GM plug in a Ford motor mm -mm, that don't sound right to me so let's uh I'm going to do this off camera because you've already seen me do the plugs. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff a whole new row of plugs down each side of the engine. And uh, I'm going to fire this thing back up again and see if we can uh, tell any difference. And if not, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take some of this uh, carbon throttle body cleaner that I bought and kind of clean things up a little bit and also... Um, try to see if we have a leak because that is the best way to test uh, for vacuum leaks is make sure your engine's kind of cold so you won't start a fire because that's you know of course it's flammable so it will combust under extreme heat um, or of course fire um, but yeah you just spray this around your vacuum and your intake and carburetor and everything or whatever you got fuel injection blah blah, blah and you know depending on the change of your engine sound wherever you spray this it could tell you you have a leak so I'm gonna go ahead and change out these plugs and then we'll fire this thing up again and see what you do well guys I'm on the way back to the parts store and I should have checked but I just should have checked there's a difference in spark plugs they ain't the right ones. We gotta go get the right ones, so. <sighs> Back to the parts store again. Apparently 
I was just paranoid. Um, the way they designed those plugs um, is Motorcraft only adds so many threads to theirs, and other brands add all the threads, but they all stop at the same point. So all us guys at the auto parts store figure that one out. Now I feel like an idiot, but you know, better safe than sorry. I don't want it smacking a piston, so. Uh, go ahead and go back to the shop put these on and let's see if there is a difference and then we can see if we can find us a vacuum leak or not all right we are back from the parts store with the with the same plugs I left with yep that's the face of uh, irritation with yourself so we're going to go ahead and install these. Um, another thing is the gap for these plugs is not 45 thousandths. Do not listen to that. Um, <clears throat> it is 54 thousandths. Actually 52 thousandths to 56 thousandths. Um, if I had a brain and would look, it actually says it right there. 4.6 liter so um, that goes to show you do not believe everything you read on the internet because that is something I read off the internet and it did say that it was 4.6 liter 45 thousandths mm -mm. 52 to 56 thousandths so I'm gonna check these plugs throw them in let's see if this thing will run better well, those are our eight plugs that we pulled from the engine, all at Motorcraft Platinums, compared to the Auto Lights. Now, I will say that there are a special circumstance where you can pull it and clean your spark plugs, but maybe I was pushing it this time. You know, if there's you know a certain amount of wear on it, you might want to just replace them. But in instances, if you are going to take care of your plugs, you can take them out and clean them periodically to get peak performance out of them. I mean, I've done it. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish this last plug. we got the van charging the battery up right now. And uh, we'll put all this back together and see if she fire up, see how she runs. Alright, we got everything put back together except for the throttle body because we're actually going to try to clean that out with some of this uh, carbon throttle body cleaner. Um, so let's see if she can fire with some new plugs gapped the right way.
not an intake leak. I can hear it. I just gotta find it now. Damn it. Well, can't always win definitely got an intake leak and it sounds like it's coming from up in this area so what I'll probably do is I'll probably pull my throttle body and everything off here um, make sure everything is sealed off um, new gas tree and some RTV around it and light coats just to make sure it's good and bonded um, and then we will check this again it's got a lot of vacuum to it so That's my issue, but I'll take that. You got vacuum running into EGR and just everywhere. So we gotta figure out our vacuum problem. It is definitely vacuum. Could just be a gasket that's gone. this video and we'll just do a part two on the Lincoln I might get to it tonight I might get to it tomorrow I don't know um, I know I got to go and grill some chicken here in a minute so good barbecue grilled chicken dinner sounds pretty good so I'm probably about to tie this up and go cook um, but hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you did go down there and leave me a like please it helps it just helps, so, you know, not much to ask. Um, so go down there and like the video. Comment down below if you want to say hey or just have any questions or anything in general. If you just want to point out my stupid mistakes that I already made and pointed out, I mean, that's cool. Um, and check out the Facebook, the Instagram, the Snapchat, and the TikTok. The only one that's different is the Snapchat. It's the avatar. Otherwise, they're all trains coming through back there um, all about the same so uh, well I mean it is the same same as uh, YouTube yeah so look for that profile picture you just go type in flying Brian's garage and all those search engines on those profile or on those platforms and you'll find me also stay tuned for more videos if you haven't subscribed yet I don't know why you haven't click that subscribe button and that little bell is all notifications and you will be notified every time I drop a new video um, and you can also check out, um, or, yeah, yeah, check out, I don't know where I'm, I'm my brain's, eh. but you can check out some of the older videos. I have a lot of older videos. It goes from riding to working on cars to you know, building custom tractors and all kinds of stuff. So be sure to go check those out. And until then, I will see you guys on part two of the old stankin' Lincoln. Boy, that's good eating right there. Look at that. Good old grilled chicken. Barbecue. Mm-mm-mm.